Well, it's the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? Well, we might be now getting some answers. For the first time in 50 years, US military officials have gone before a Congress hearing releasing once-classified videos from fighter pilots' cockpits. One shows a fleeting image of a spherical object speeding past a fighter jet. There's a it's led to the inquiry which um, heard hundreds of unexplained encounters. A government report last year acknowledged that between 2004 and 2021, there were 144 unexplained oh. sightings. Since then, the number's grown to 400. Investigative UFO filmmaker Jeremy Corbell joins us live from LA. Again, good to see you. This is a big admission, isn't it, from the US authorities? Absolutely. Th those videos you were showing were the videos I obtained and released. Military film, Pentagon confirmed, UFO videos. Do not be four cents short of a nickel. UFOs are real, and everyday human knowledge about UFOs and what they represent to humanity, it expands. What was once science fiction is now science fact. Is it a good, uh, good for you, though, uh, to put this vision up and then instead of, you know, uh, with all due respect, uh, classed as, you know, a UFO nutter, which lots of people have been classified, you've actually fought for this to come into the public domain. And it's not fiction, it's fact. Absolutely. And it's good to see you turn around on the subject because this <laughs> is true. We've had UFO hearings open congressional hearings for the first time in ufos in over 50 years we were we were in a data poor perspective before but now as you are seeing we are in a data rich environment when it comes to ufos visiting wherever they're from i don't know what they are from you know to planet earth it's 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 really amazing yeah because there was also um testimony wasn't there from a member of congress that there's wreckage being found talk us through that well, that's what's really interesting. They were trying to obfuscate the idea that we actually have either shot these down or we have physical objects that we call UFOs, machines from somewhere else. But the fact is we do have them and the questions were posed. And so this is like the door opening, just a crack that we're going to learn mm -hmm. more. And public will has pushed it this way. UFO Twitter has pushed it this way. People are starting to get answers and there is much more coming. Wow, more to come. We'll keep checking in. Good to see you again. Good to see you, and thank you for helping to reduce the stigma about UFOs so we can have a sober, rational conversation about oh. this mystery. Too right. There you go. And haven't you been wrapped over the knuckles? <laughs> I didn't think I was a, a doubter at all. I oh, know. I thought you were actually okay. <laughs>